Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and today we're going to talk about a concept called coaching to the sales forecast. For t far too long, we've talked about what? Sales meetings, putting forecasts up on the board, going through people's numbers, but we really talk about both ends of the sales funnel. How many leads do you have? How many appointments? How many phone calls did you make? And then what do we ask? What deals are you going to close this month? But 80%, maybe even 90% of what we do is inside the sales funnel. Such as, what questions are you asking? Are you negotiating? Can you handle a competitor or a competitor price objection? That's where the real sales coaching opportunity exists. So when you're coaching to the sales forecast, you can coach to different elements of this. Let me give you an example. Ask the following question. Ask a salesperson if you had to improve two areas inside the sales funnel that you think would help on the top line and the bottom line of the sales funnel, what would those be and why? Number two, take the top one or two deals out of their forecast and say, Joe, hypothetically, we're gonna take these top two deals out. What's your confidence level of hitting 100% of goal? What you're coaching to there is, do they have contingency plans or are they resting on their laurels? So remember a forecast has a lot of information it's typically data, but performance drives those results and we have to become equipped as sales managers to ask those questions. So again, ask what performance needs to improve. If we took out your top deal or two, what would happen to your bottom line number? Would you still hit your numbers? What other deals do you have on the on deck circle that you're really confident about? And why are you confident? So don't just coach to the forecast and the numbers and the data but coach to the performance that's behind it. Thanks.